The inclusion and supportive benefits of team sport are widely acknowledged as assisting those confronting isolation and disadvantage. For one Melbourne-based Australian rules football club comprising recovering alcoholics and drug addicts, participating in team sport is literally helping to save lives. Is it all right? How long? In many ways, the Salvo Hawks are like any other team preparing for a grand final. All eyes are on coach for the day, former Collingwood Premiership player Gavin Krasiska, as he delivers the pre-match address. See ball, get ball, kick ball. We want to keep it as simple as that. Um, and it is a simple game. But most in this team have tackled far greater problems off the field. So they stop to reflect before leaving the sheds. Chris Siska says the Salvo Hawks provide these recovering addicts with something conventional rehabilitation programs simply can't replicate. Their Wednesdays is what they really look forward to and it's uh, the one day of the week where uh, they have a real purpose in life and uh, in early recovery, you know, finding that sort of purpose is a really key ingredient. In the predominantly male Salvo Hawks team is Kathleen Saylor. The 26-year-old is now nine months clean, but an ice addiction exposed her to homelessness, psychosis and self-harm. So when it got really low, like, um, I just, I had no hope and, um, like ultimately like I was in a really um, dark headspace and I wanted to take my life. Kat is still in an intensive rehabilitation program but says participating in the Hawks matches has been pivotal for her recovery, providing a valuable physical outlet and much more. When I'm out there and I'm just in the zone and um, like after the game like the adrenaline it's just a natural high like and it's just I'm just pumped and full of excitement and um, yeah, the world just seems like a really beautiful place. The Salvo Hawks are one of several teams participating in the RecLink competition. RecLink is now in its 26th year and has literally helped thousands of people from a range of different disadvantaged backgrounds. Football is just one of its many programs on offer, but it's clearly been one of the most effective. We see additional downstream benefits in helping transform and change their lives. People moving towards pathways of learning, pathways of employment, or pathways of improving their own personal health and well-being. But today there was a grand final to win and Kat Saylor was a key member of the Hawks' sweetest victory. So it has definitely saved my life and it's put me on a path that I just, um, I never thought I'd be on. Philip Lee, SBS World News.